All right, so we're gonna get right back into using what you have, which has been one of the big things that we're trying to do here. Um, I had pulled yesterday a um, whole chicken that we had raised out of the freezer, defrosted it, cooked it, had it for dinner. Now I'm gonna take the leftovers and yeah, usually I don't like to do um, chicken in two days in a row, but you know, we're gonna use what we have. So it's kind of dreary and yucky outside. We've got some freezing rain, rain mix going on outside. We've got colder weather getting ready to blow in. What I did was I took all of the broth from the chicken last night. I added the bones back in and I made bone broth in my Instant Pot. Then I strained it out. The chickens are gonna get, it's all over there in my bucket. The chickens are going to get all of the meat um, and any, or not meat, the any meat that was left on the bones as well as the bones and all of those scraps will be going out to the birds. So I've got my bone broth in here, I have diced celery, and then I have some frozen peas. Now we didn't grow peas this last year, so those are grocery store, but I had them. So I'm taking um, some of the leftover chicken that I had saved and um, just breaking it up into little bite-sized pieces and popping it into the broth. And then I'm gonna slow cook it. I also have some leftover home canned um, carrots that I'm going to pop in here and then I'm going to make a gluten-free dumpling. Um, I looked up and found a recipe that we're gonna try and that will go in last. So we're just gonna slow cook this. It'll cook the peas and it'll warm up the chicken and then at the, um, I'll throw the carrots in close to the end and then once it gets back up to, um, and then, then we'll bring it back up to a boil and um, we'll add the dumplings in. And that will be dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, probably use most of this. Um, if I didn't have this leftover chicken, I have canned chicken in the pantry that I could have gone ahead and done this with and it's actually already shredded so, and it has broth in it. And then I also have canned bone broth in there, but I figured, yeah, as long as we use everything that's kind of ready and available right this second, right? Makes it super easy. Um, and then we will have leftovers for lunch for tomorrow and for the weekend. Those that, that can be for lunch. And then we'll make something different for tonight. I think everybody will uh, not like it if I have them eating the same thing <laughs> all of the time. All right, so that's in there. I'm going to pop the lid on it and um, let it cook and I'll bring you back later whenever I go to mix up the uh, dumplings. All right. Okay, so I put this on saute just to raise the heat level <clears throat> to get it up to more of a boil. And I have to apologize, I got busy and I totally forgot I was supposed to show you guys how I made this dough. So what I used was a gluten-free flour. You can use pretty much any um, the one that I'm using in this recipe today, just because it's what I had, is called Namaste, so it's got some uh, chickpea flour in it. Um, that's the base of the flour, um, and I got it on clearance at Kroger for like $2.50 for a huge bag, so couldn't pass it up. Also, it has a teaspoon of salt. Um, I'm out of parsley, or I couldn't find my dried parsley, so you can add parsley to it. And then you do two eggs, I'm sorry, I'm messing this up. All right, it's two and a quarter cups of gluten-free all-purpose flour, a um, tea, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, parsley, two eggs beaten, and then um, you add, I think, I have to go back and look, I think it's a cup and a half of chicken broth. Basically, just until you get a sticky dough. And honestly, when I make, when you use different gluten-free flours, they react differently. So you may need a little bit more liquid. And what you're looking for is like this. You just want like a sticky dough, okay? Um, you mix up your dry ingredients really well and then add your beaten eggs and your uh, room temperature chicken broth. Stir it up until you get that sticky dough. And then we're going to add it by the spoonful into our um, chicken and dumpling base of chicken bone broth. I also added a little bit of thyme in here and there you can see the carrots and the peas and their celery. And I'm gonna go ahead and start adding that and then we'll show you when it's done. All right, there you have it, gluten-free chicken and dumplings. I actually didn't even thicken the sauce, it's fine. And we'll see 
how they taste. I think I made them a little bit big, didn't I? So those are the dumplings. Mmm. Really good. I think I'm going to add a little more salt and pepper to it, but really yummy. That's it for today. Just a short, quick one on using what we have on hand. Thank you guys so much for joining us once again. And if you're new here, welcome. We'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and smash that bell for notifications on future videos. Y'all take care.